So here we are, day 11 and 12 of the Master Cleanse. And I feel phenomenal. I really do. I feel good. I have lots of energy. Um, one struggle that I had prior to was I, um, I didn't even have, like, I would start maybe trying to work out or working out and my heart just like my blood pressure, like I was, I couldn't keep up. I was just really struggling or just couldn't breathe. And so I am working out um, each morning and I have energy to do it and I feel good whenever I do it. And so, um, so I wanted to, um, to talk why I went past the 10 days. So one thing I mentioned in the other videos is my tongue is still not pink. So I have a ton of candida overgrowth in my body. I know I do. Um, I've been told that before. So that's my one goal is to work that and get that out of the way. Um, and that's a sign when your tongue is not pink, when your tongue is white, that you have candida overgrowth. Um, so, but some other, some other benefits, um, positive outlook. It just gives you a, a new outlook, a new way. You kind of just reset your body greater flexibility. That's the one thing I noticed. I noticed that even in the car driving, when I turn to go change lanes and look to back out of parking spaces and stuff, like I can, I'm more flexible. I can turn around so much easier. Uh, weight loss. Um, I've, I'm down, you know, it's almost like a pound a day, about 12 pounds. Freedom from addictions. Um, increased strength. Swelling and pain. No more swelling and pain. Um, people that um, their hair, hair loss, that if they see that they're having hair loss, they do the cleanse and then it helps. Your skin improves and allergies reduced. So I have definitely seen all of those things. Um, now here are some tips and this is straight from the book, page 105. Enhancing your results. And so these are just some tips that I'm gonna kind of touch on a few. Read this entire book before your cleanse. Absolutely. I know people that have not read the book and done the cleanse and it has not been as helpful. So once you get this book, you really delve into it and really find out um, the ins and outs of it. And, and there's tons of information in here. Pick 10 days to do the cleanse, marking them on your calendar, which is what I did. I, I scheduled out, especially those first one through four days, you're really going to be less energy, going to be tired. So make it like if you're working nine to five job every, you know, 52 weeks of the year, then find a time when you can take off like a long holiday weekend and you can start it. And then you can take this with you to work. Negotiate with your spouse or partner, um, cooking and grocery. That is one thing that has helped and tell them that you're focusing on yourself. That's one thing that helped. My kids went away for three days um, and that helped. Um, I have um, real quick and easy things that I've got fixed for my family um, to eat. Plan to start the cleanse on the weekend when you have several consecutive days off. And so that's another tip. Um, line up your supporters. I had an accountability partner. Stephanie was my accountability partner. Gather your ingredients in advance and kind of know, don't say, hey, I'm going to do this and then jump into it and you don't have everything. Um, because I did have to go, I looked at three or four different stores to find the coconut nectar and Whole Foods had it. So if you live in a rural area, you may have to order that off of Amazon. If you drink coffee or caffeinated sodas or eat chocolate or sugary foods on a daily basis, try to start weaning yourself from that. Remember that you can use herbal remedies such as ginger for stomach upset or drinking peppermint tea. Start a cleansing journal. Um, and, I, and it has a little journal in the book that you can you know, add stuff to, but I also had got my checklist that I'm um, marking down stuff. I do have a journal as well that I'm writing things. Prepare yourself both mentally and emotionally. So mentally I was, you know, telling myself, I'm going to go through this. I'm going to do this. This is what I'm going to do. So, um, and then I was prepared for any emotional attacks too. 
Um, and like I said, I hold up the glass and I, I ask God to use it to cleanse my body. Make sure that if you feel tired, get lots of rest. And that's what I've done. There was one day that I sat down and took like a three hour nap just in the recliner. Like I told the boys, I said, I've got to rest. And I put a heating pad on my stomach and I just laid there and I was so comfortable that I slept. Uh, find something inspiring to reading during your cleanse. I'm actually reading um, actually audio books. I prefer audio books um, just to sit and listen. But I've been, when I do my detox bath, um, and I do my, um, uh, and just sit out on the porch and just kind of getting vitamin D it's breathe, um, the new science of a lost art by James Nestor. And so I have, um, been listening to it. Um, um, and it's really good. It talks about mouth breathing. And that's one thing that I have done my whole life. And so it just goes through the history and it also talks about healthy eating in there too and how our mouths are shaped by what we're eating as well. Um, use affirmations to promote your healing saying, I find success in all my endeavors. I am safe. It is safe for me to cleanse. I release the need to be ill. You know, things like that to kind of give some things. Wear bright colored clothing and spend time in sunshine and breathe fresh air out with the old in with the new. So I, um, I wore some bright colored clothing, not a whole lot. I typically stick with grays and blacks. Um, and so, but um, I did, when I was having so much pain in my hip, um, it talks about light therapy in here. And I looked up um, and it said purple for pain. So I had a purple shirt and I put the purple shirt on. I thought maybe this will help, I don't know. And so listen to inspiring music or watch edifying movies. Um, I did do that. Um, my kids, you know, if they were playing video games or if they were, you know, if I was in the same room, like as the kitchen as they were, and they were listening to their music, I would have my music on or, um, or tell them to put their headphones on. Um, and use that time um, that you're spending to shop for prepare or cook normal foods as an opportunity to clean up your external life. So I organized, um, I, I spent, uh, we went there and organized, we are almost done, we have one room left. Um, and so um, getting small tasks out of the way and getting everything organized, considered following an exercise program or just walking for 30 minutes a day, I did that. Um, do yoga, meditation, um, use an herbal remedy during the master cleanse to help get rid of parasites, I did that as well and take a sauna or use a hot steam room to assist in the detox. I was taking a detox bath and I was using the ionic foot bath. So I followed all of the regimen, what it said to do. Now, avoiding common mistakes. Some of the things that I um, highlighted, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but some things I highlighted. Drink it within the first several hours after you wake up. So, um, they're waiting to drink it too long, waiting too long to drink your first lemonade. That's a common mistake. Um, and not preparing mentally for the cleanse and not reading the book fully, that's another common mistake. Not drinking adequate amounts of the lemonade each day. Um, I started out with 10 and 12 drinks and now I'm at six. Um, I think yesterday I even did five. And so I'm full, I'm, I'm, I feel great. Um, I did, um, I, I am taking my laxative capsule at night and I actually, and I, I drink the, the smooth, smooth tea in the morning or do a salt flush, but I actually, this is the 12th day and I had fecal matter and it blew my mind. And I thought, I haven't eaten anything in 12 days, 12 days. Really? Like why, why, where, where did this come from? And so it's stuff that's inside of you. So that's why it's like, even though I would have stopped on day 10, you know, that could have changed it. So drinking more water than lemonade during the cleanse and um, is, is very crucial. Another common mistake, not drinking the lemonade fresh. And so that's very helpful to drink it fresh. The body needs a combination of all the ingredients for the cleanse. So not including all the ingredients. Um, is, is something that is a mistake. Um, not taking the herbal laxative every night and every morning, that is what helps to flush everything out. So helpful. 
um, not using ripe lemons or limes, um, not using the best possible water, um, using honey or another sweetener instead of the maple syrup or coconut nectar. That is a common misconception. Um, um, or cheating, eating even small amounts of anything other than the improved ingredients will affect your success of the master cleanse. And also um, stopping too soon. You could stop too soon and then all of a sudden you've got this rash or you've got something, you know, that's making you sick. Um, using two tablespoons of salt instead of two teaspoons for the salt flush is a huge mistake. So two teaspoons of salt for your salt flush, not tablespoons. Tablespoons is what you're going to do the, the um, maple syrup and the lemonade. And so people often accidentally do tablespoons of salt. That would be really, really strong. Um, people continue supplements on the cleanse. It's, it's not getting it out of your body. Putting cayenne in the concentrate. So doing that will steep it actually. Um, and it makes the result of the lemon is way too hot. So instead add the cayenne to the drink as you prepare it. So I do the lemon and then the maple syrup and stir those together, then add the cayenne and then the water. Um, so coming off the cleanse and properly uh, is another one. And I'm getting ready to come off the cleanse this week. So I have been really studying up and reading the book more um, to try to make sure I do it properly. I bought my oranges, they're washed, they're ready to go. And so I have three more days and so Stay tuned. I can't wait to share with you the results.